Hello friends, how are you? I think you are fine in this uh, pandemic situation of COVID-19. You are staying at home and you are healthy. I am Dr. Asish Kothari, looking after electronics and communication engineering at Atmiya University. Today I will be delivering a topic that is patent filing process in India. Patent as it is written on the screen, it is said to be a techno legal document. Why? Because at the same time it is a combination of two uh, documents one is technical and it is legal also you can see that uh, because uh, this is a document which is a grant of the exclusive rights to an invent invention product process and that right is given to the owner of that invention in the below side i have given the uh, definition of invention and it is basically uh, said to be a new way of doing something or offering a new technical solution to a problem means invention if you see invention is said to be invention if and only if it is it is a new way of doing something or adding something which eases the uh, life living style of the society it it adds to uh, some solution and gives the better performance for example if i if i say that this is a pen right if if you see that this is a pen and I, I i ask you i ask all of you that what does this pen do maybe all of us will answer that this pen can write but suppose i tell that this pen can read also then it is a surprise to all of us why because the pen is used to write down something on a piece of the paper so as to transfer some information from our mind to the uh, paper then we are using our eyes for reading the documents now there are people in the world that cannot see with their eyes because they are blind people there they are you they are they are re reading or learning by the help of the braille lipi if you consider the disadvantage of the braille lipi we consider the disadvantage of the braille lipi that the printing of the braille lipi books are very expensive and time consuming and not all the books that we can read with our naked eye that can be read by the uh, eyes of the blind people so we thought of a solution of converting this pen into the pen that can read also we have placed one we we use the solution technical solution of the problem we use the camera then uh, we used some uh, raspberry pi as well as python programming so that this pen can take the image of the document and converts the uh, OCR optic it, it works as an OCR optical character reader it converts the uh, image into the text and uh, uh, subsequently it converts the text into the speech so that the blind people can read so this is a big advantage to the blind people that now whatever books we can read they can also read the same books with the help of this particular pen and that is why this called this is called an invention an idea which is useful for a for a particular amount of the people in the society or the entire society that eases the life of uh, life of the living of the society of the people so this kind of idea which which adds to the certain problem which identifies the problem and which solves the problem that kind of idea and certainly various ideas are can be uh, can be said to be an invention and those invention can be given a patent and that is an exclusive right to the owner of that patent what does it do when a person gets a patent it stops as it is written in the third point it stops others for making using offering for sell selling or importing patenting invention without the permission of the owner for example if i have this idea i have generated this kind of pen then no one no other uh, after getting the patent no one else can make this kind of pen can use this uh, for the selling can not offer someone to sell this pro uh, this product cannot sell himself or cannot import this kind of product from outside the uh, india for example uh, without the permission of the owner of the patent this is the beauty of the patent then uh, we should have a question that why we should file a patent patent is a techno legal docu document um, it is an uh, right, exclusive right to the inventor and it gives the ownership uh, to the uh, owner of that idea 
so the question is why we should file a patent so as it is clearly written that only motivation one of the motivation of filing the patent is to earn significant amount of money money for in demand invention here the word in demand is very much important because because whenever you find an invention it should be such that it is an in demand invention for example if if i if i say today that today mobile is an in demand invention today slide changer is an in demand of, uh, in invention today this kind of setup wherein i can deliver a lecture from a place where i am here and you can you can watch and hear the entire lecture from somewhere um, uh, any anywhere around the world so this is an in demand invention in this case this this many of the applications are in demand applications whomsoever uh, uh, makes it faster it takes the lead so it can be used for the significant amount of money how how the money can be uh, generated out of uh, the patent that we have filed that because we have the as it is written because we have the rights of the patent for 20 years we can use the same for building a business for example i can i can uh, place a factory of manufacturing this kind of pen that pen can read and i can start my own business uh, earning the significant amount of the money or secondly if i don't want to be uh, i don't want to manufacture i don't have any uh, more money i can rent this particular invention to the existing pen manufacturing company and uh, take the royalty from them the third one is can completely sell this product this idea to someone else and i will um, i will focus on the next invention so there are three different ways in which you can earn the significant amount of money only on the idea or the invention uh, of yours that this this makes this uh, gives an idea that an idea can change the life this is this is execute exactly shoots this that it can um, give you the significant amount of the money then who can file the patent this is the next question uh, here some of the categories are written in the uh, ppt but it is not so anyone who has the idea who has a novel solution of a con uh, current problem who has a novel uh, solution to a particular set of the people set of the geographical area or anything else which can ease the life of the society then it can be uh, patented then we can file the patent if and only if we are if you can see there are three points written if we are true and the first inventor this means that means you are the one who has this idea and who has invented this product or process means it is not being taken from uh, it is written in the last two uh, points that you should not be the first importer of an invention into the india somewhere the product is already available you are importing that product and filing the patent this is not allowed and second one suppose someone stays outside the india and tells that this is the thing that is uh, easing our life uh, that makes easiness in our uh, life that you and and you file the patent of the same that that particular point is being communicated from outside the india and you file a patent for that that is also not allowed you should be the true and the first inventor true means you are the one who has given who has taken the idea and you are the first in inventing uh, that idea if this is the combination then you can file the patent now there are two cases case number 1 i am the one who has the idea and i i am literate um, i am i am literate uh, literal enough so that i can write down the patent documents but second one is there are there are there are many people there are many people uh, specifically in india who are the generator of ideas who are the um, generator of the innovations but they don't know how to write the patent documents so what they can do what what those kind of people can do they can have Uh, their own assignees like us for example i know writing how to write the patent i don't have the idea and i uh, i say that you have some idea and you don't know how to write so you can assign me you can give me the assignment of writing and communicating with the patent office india then i am i i am said to be true and the first inventors assignee 
then third one is the legal representative of deceased true and the first inventor or his or her assignee the third option is they are called legal representatives and a, a common name given to all the legal representatives so far as the patenting process is concerned it is patent attorneys so those patent attorneys on behalf of us can write down uh, in a way it should be written the patents as well as they communicate uh, with the patent office india on behalf of us so there are three options that we can file one is but you should be the first and uh, the true inventor of the patent this is the things that we need to take care then where to file the patents so jurisdiction of the patents are four in india we can file the patent out of this four uh, particular metro cities delhi kolkata chennai and mumbai uh, geographical location wise for example i am in gujarat so i should file my patent in the mumbai patent office suppose you are in delhi then you can file the patent in the patent office delhi but it does not mean that this for for patent office works differently on the different rules and regulations the rules and regulations for the patent office are common for all the four processes the pro the the sequence of events are same for all the uh, four offices as well as the uh, execution the examination and the um, given giving of the patent is same for all the offices but depending on the geographical location the government of india has divided into this four uh, countries where we can file the patent we, so far as we all are concerned we need to work with these three categories of the patent office the first one what we will be writing uh, will be communicating all our communications regarding the patent and idea to the controller general of patent under that there are joint controllers deputy controllers and the assistant controller for the different amount of work and then depending on the area in which we have filed the patent the area in which our idea uh, falls uh, they uh, set a set of examiners and the set of examiners will communicate with us on behalf of the patent office um, any any patents office of india this is the most important web page of uh, uh, patent office india uh, ipc ip india.nic.in wherein you can find each and every rules how you can file the patent what are the amount of the fees what what are the forms for a particular operation so various information you can find from this site this is the official website of the indian patent office that is ip india.nic.in filing of the patent office our, our one of the question that will arise in our mind is when to file uh, the patent so the patent office of india says that you should file the patent as early as possible earliest they they say is earliest they say that you should be the first to file um, the idea or it is the first to file system i'll take one example for example today i am i am giving you the idea of this pen what we have already patented in here here in atmia university that this pen can read now suppose suppose that i have this idea of i have in mind this idea that one pen can read also and i am giving you the idea i am i am communicating with uh, you the same idea now what happens is i believe that when i complete the prototyping of this pen which can read then and then i should file the patent and on the other side you think that now i have the idea today i will file the patent the government office says that as soon as you have the idea uh, flickering on your mind you should file the patent there are options that can be changed on the later on but you are the first to file the system even after 6 months on the same topic i am with my prototype filing the patent patent office will not allow because you already have filed 6 months back on the same topic that a pen can read so indian patent office says that whenever you have the idea you should file the patent then what to file as we have discussed invention is the only thing that can be filed uh, no no other thing other than the invention novel idea cannot be filed so invention uh, Um, as we discussed basically it is a new way of doing uh, something or new technical solution to a existing problem so what is an invention or how we can find that this is an invention 
So, invention basically is uh, available after you research the fundamental aspects of the idea that you are thinking of. For example, I am thinking of this idea that the pen can read. So, for read what you should require? I should require an I. For reading we require I. But suppose a technical aspect is concerned we require a camera. Then any pen we should research that we require camera and camera of a very big size cannot survive here because of the design constraint. So, we should take the camera uh, of um, means in our case we have, to, we, we have taken the spy cameras. That camera is being attached to the Raspberry Pi again it is an SMD prototype of the same so that it, it becomes easy to hold the system uh, hold the pen and we have exclusively used the Python programming because it is an open source uh, tutorial. So, the fundamental research is required that uh, for this particular item I should fundamentally do this. Then second one is improvement on an existing art means what is existingly what, what is right now available right now available is there are pens spy pens, spy pens are uh, available you see some uh, uh, some people who are the detectives can, are using the spy cameras or spy pens which can be which, which is inbuilt uh, carrying the uh, uh, storage device inside it and they store the events of the executions. So, similarly we thought of this idea that this pen now can use spy cam, but the entire idea of uh, idea will be different. This will read and will convert into the, into the speech. So, that we can have a, a 3.5 mm jack on the uh, tip of the pen so that it can easily be placed and um, um, can be used for the earphone. So, improvement of, of an existing art. Solving an unsolved problem of the art unaddressed issues or unaddressed issues. So, the pen is writing, but the unaddressed issue is the blind people cannot read the normal books. Now, there are lots of normal books that a particular blind people would also like to read. So, now he cannot read because of the physical inability of the same, but yes, he can, he or she can hear. So, we can convert our text, our text into the speech and can uh, make the same available to the blind people. So, this is solving the unsolved problem of an uh, art or you can um, uh, solve the unaddressed issue with a different approach. The approach is different that we are using the open source technology. Now, we are ready that means we have taken the fundamental research, we have seen, we have issued a uh, unaddressed, we, we have given the solution to the unaddressed issue. Uh, basically, we have uh, all fundamental research we have done. Now, we are ready to write down the patent. Now, how to write the patent or before drafting the patent, what we should think of? We should ask questions to ourselves, uh, many questions to ourselves. Uh, some of them are listed on the slide. First question is what, what is the invention? I am, I, am, I am giving this idea that this pen can read. Now, what is the invention? The invention is basically this is a pen that apart from writing it, it is also used for the reading. So, this is an invention. The invention is not pen. Basically, it is the capacity of this pen to read. This is the invention. So, what is the invention? Next is, is invention patentable? How we can know that is that, that invention is patentable? This is the most important question. We can know uh, that by, by um, literature review or they are it is called the prior art search in case of the patent office. There are many many different uh, web pages available from where you can uh, prior art uh, your patent and when you put the keyword uh, it gives you the idea that whether you are uh, whether you can file that patent or not whether the keywords of uh, keyword that you placed inside the web matches or does not match. If they are they do, do not match then you can file the patent then basically that invention is a patentable invention. Third question is in is invention novel or uh, inventive means innovative is your solution uh, innovative and novel means it is not being given by anyone else. This is the must question and this must be uh, answer of this question must be yes. If it is yes um, then you can file the patent. Now, before drafting you should verify the following items that you have conducted the search prior art search. Then you enlist the problems in the prior art search means you see 
um, what are what are the problems in the prior art search there are uh, there are uh, there are systems which converts the text into the speech there are systems which convert the text into the speech but somewhere it it, it must require uh, internet somewhere it requires a huge hardware now this huge hardware and internet can not survive here because we want to give the solution which is exactly uh, portable in nature and uh, it is mobile in nature so that everyone can use and uh, everyone can carry at any place so enlist the problems these are the problem that the current solution of the problem does not are not mobile cannot be used for this blind people cannot be used for reading the books are not mobile are not portable so um, with this you uh, you decide what is the problem sought to be solved by the invention what is the problem problem is we need to remove this uh, heavy hardware uh, and uh, we need to make it portable so this is the solution then what is the novelty novelty is this can be able to read and translate into the speech is the solution obvious yes then it is artificially excluded there is no artificial component addition into the, this then this is the most important question has publication ensued patent office here or any patent attorney tells that when you have the idea in your mind you first file the patent of that and then you publish it anywhere else or you disclose it anywhere else because it is the right of your idea to be protected if you don't protect your idea uh, you disclose your idea before you file the patent then patent office cannot do anything about that so patent office tell th tells that as soon as you have idea before disclosing to anyone through the medium of publication or oral disclosure you first file the patent and there are two types of pattern you can see um, it is written on the second uh, last line complete uh, specification or provisional application so there are two uh, different way of writing the patent it is not two different way but but provisional patent application and complete uh, specification we'll see it later on that what is the meaning of that but you can file uh, one of these two which we should also know that what is not patentable so these are the things which are enlisted on uh, on the ppt cannot be patented means suppose say there is some natural law gravitational force law Nat it, it is na it naturally happens then you cannot file the patent it is basically a discovery it is not patent so when you discover something you cannot file a patent yes but you if you modify something uh, which is already available and make a product or a process in such that you can uh, give the easiness to the living life of the society then um, um, uh, if it is a contribution then you can file the patent otherwise for a natural process for scientific principles for plants and animals the uh, biological processes drama music artist you cannot file the patent so you should see this this is the uh, these are various points where you cannot file the patent and otherwise but the sim simple meaning of this what can be what cannot be patented is not the question the question is what can be patented that we answered only innovation which is which solves the uh, current problem with uh, some technical solution is patentable otherwise natural processes are not patentable uh, we were discussing about two types of application patent office says that as soon as you have the idea you don't have the prototype as soon as you have the idea you file the patent now you have the idea but you don't have the prototype means you are not able to prove that the idea that you have is actually workable so when you have the idea you file the patent and that name that that kind of patent uh, is known as provisional patent application now provisional patent application is required under certain situations under certain situations and those some of those situations are listed on the slide means the first one is when there is an urgency for example i am disclosing the now i i find it find find it very urgent that now this patent must be filed because if i have disclosed this to many people today and this should be uh, filed so the, it becomes the urgency for me to file the patent then commercial disclosure for example big giant company what they do is they commercially wanted want to disclose something 
that we are we will be providing this facility to the society then before before uh, commercial disclosure they will file the patent so that um, the copy paste can be removed submission of thesis so far as masters uh, uh, the students of the masters and the uh, phd scholars are concerned they should take care that if they they find their method innovative if they find their um, uh, if they find their answers yes of the previous questions that we have discussed whether it is a patentable uh, idea then they should file the patent even provisional patent before they uh, submit the thesis to the universities or the colleges where they study next is inventor or seniors leaving the company this is the big big issue for the giant company if the inventor of the company is leaving the company then they can disclose their idea their innovation innovative idea to the other place or somewhere else so companies take care that before that senior left the uh, office or uh, or uh, uh, institution uh, they are filing the patent accidental disclosure for example i i was simply discussing with you today that this this uh, we have discussed or i have one idea of converting this pen into the pen that can read now this is accidental disclosure i i don't want to discuss it with uh, any one of you but accidentally or uh, i have disclosed this so this is an accidental disclosure and i will go today only uh, to file the patent so when there is an but but i don't have the prototype so what should i do i should file the provisional patent application and if you have the many competitors means you have some idea before you implement that um, um, you have a fear that your competitor will come to know about your idea then what you do is you file the patent so that that can be legally um, um, legally can be protected now what is complete specification so pro provisional application and provi and complete specification there is only one difference the one difference is in provisional application it is not compulsory to write down the claims means this is the one for which you claim because you don't have the prototype you have only the idea you filed the patent provisional patent you don't have the prototype that's why you cannot claim for for a particular item then claims in in case of the complete specification claims are must and on claims you will be given the patent for example i am writing five claims so out of this five claims i would not claim for this pen i would claim for the operation of the pen that can read and i would claim for the camera i will claim for the soft uh, i will claim for the raspberry pi model that i am using i i will claim for my design um, like this so out of this four five six claims what i have written the patent office may give for all six claims may give for five claims or may give for any number of claims to me so this patent is given to this particular person or for this particular claim or claim sir so until and unless you file the complete specification you will your application will not be considered for the examination but government office tells that when you have the idea because idea um, so as to protect your idea you can file the provisional pet, uh, patent application we will give you 12 months of time in between them in, in between that particular instant of time you will file the complete specification you will complete your prototype you will file the complete specification and you will submit the complete specification along with the claims and necessary descriptions so uh, there is only this difference between uh, provisional patent and complete specification but complete specification is the final specification that we should submit to the patent office for the examination purpose so these are the various forms that we need to fill uh, while filing the patents form number 1 uh, represents your uh, information like your name your association and all um, there are in in form number 1 there are two um, uh, points one is name of the applicant and another one is name of the inventor now this this two may be same this two may be different means for example um, applicant is myself and inventor are you all for example i am i will take one product that is being invented by you all but i am the applicant of that process because i own this company and you are working under me or i work under someone and someone owns the company so 
patent office tells that the rights of the patent is given to applicant only it is not the inventor we will give who will be given the rights of this patent but yes you can uh, between applicant and uh, uh, inventor there must there may be any uh, deed form number 2 is complete or provisional specification as we have discussed uh, form number 3 is statement of undertaking uh, that uh, i am the true and the first inventor declaration as to inventorships and power of attorney if you have uh, hired patent attorney for uh, the same and point number 18 is request for examination these are some of the compulsory forms that we need to fill there are many different forms there are many different options that you can go uh, and see on uh, the website of ib india but these are the forms that is compulsory one, form number 1 2 3 are compulsory for the natural person form number 18 is also compulsory once you uh, once your patent is published in the patent office uh, website and then you request for the examination other are optionals means depending on your requirement you can file the uh, fill up the form and send it to patent office for various applications so um, so far as provisional or complete specification is concerned only difference as as we discussed the only difference is uh, this um, claims not required in the provisional application but it starts from the title patent office says that your title should be as um, it should not be too big or it should not be too small it should be very much concise between um, in in a, in a length and it should be such that a very common people can also understand for example what we were discussing is this pen can read so a pen can read this is the title of my patent so when this when when this title is being read by any uh, common person also he he or she can be able to understand that yes it must be written that this pen can also be able to read so that kind of title should be there so that and for the easy recognition for the general public also uh, technical field it should include it should include the field of the technicality which you have used for example in in our case we have used raspberry pi we have used python we have used uh, um, uh, camera and so our technical field and and basically we have used image processing for this so our technical field is image processing signal processing raspberry pi camera architecture and everything so this is our technical field then background and prior art we have searched for what we are we are planning we have already searched for uh, the background as well as prior art we have we have taken the out, outcome we we have seen the problems of the same uh, we, we have the current problem or drawback and the gap which is be, which is which needs to be fulfilled and we are providing the solution to the problem or improvement in this particular manner then you should give the summary of the invention then the most important point detailed description patent office tells that you submit each and every minute details in the detailed description while you are submitting the complete specification there are there, there is means once you file the complete specification then it is very much less chance for you to Uh, change and patent office tells that every minor details to be produced in the details description why uh, so as to ease the examination process so as to reduce the time duration of the examination process and patent office gives you the uh, surety that a surety of not disclosing your document to everyone yes it publishes your patent documents on its website but only abstract is being published all other documents your form number 2 for your detailed descriptions are not published anywhere um, in the patent office website and they are secured in their office uh, then experiments or trials or examples that you carried out abstracts and drawings if there are any with all the details so this is the most important form is form number 2 and this is what you should uh, carry out uh, then i mean as we discussed what should be the title a technical field and this is the sequence in which we should write even if we are filing for any kind of patent we, this this sequence should be followed technical field followed by the prior art search uh, current problem or drawback or gap and the solution that you are thinking for the improvement in that particular solution summary of the invention and the detailed description which include the minute details of the same and claims um, uh, which is required in the complete specification abstracts drawing so this is the way in which you should uh, you are writing your complete specification 
or provisional patent application along with form number 1 that gives you the detail um, uh, gives your details these are the stages of uh, patent applica application as soon as you file patent office sees that suppose you file the provisional application we will give you 12 months of time Be after 12 months of time you should before this time completes you should complete uh, file the complete specification and send it to us after the complete specification is being uh, um, is being available to us after 6 months of that uh, that particular uh, day on the next friday evening we will publish your work for example uh, today uh, means uh, for example today is 28th or 27th 28th 28th of april 2020 i am i am filing the patent or today in this date i, I am filing the provisional patent on next 28th i uh, am filing the complete specification now after 6 months of 28th uh, april 2020 after 6 months of that next friday the patent office will publish my work as, as I told you only abstract is being published but with your patent number and all but once that publication uh, once the patent office gives uh, takes your publication then you can request for the examination so there are only two compulsory things that you need to do one is to file the complete specification second one is for the request of the examination once you request for the examination they will depute the examine, uh, examiner examination body and uh, then um, then they will give the first examination report depending on the detailed description the minute observations minute details that you have given in the complete specification now uh, there are two options uh, means you need you will give the answers to that first report you will respond you will submit your re response now there are two options either they are satisfied with the response that you submitted and they grant the patent or they are not fully satisfied with the response that you have given and then um, further examination report is generated further it is being communicated to you and this cycle um, works until they are satisfied with the sub uh, with the responses that is being submitted and that is why i was telling you or patent office tells you that when you file the patent when you are writing the detailed description write it as minutely as possible don't forget to put every minute details inside the detailed description so that this particular time duration of uh, response sub, uh, of of issuance of the reports by the examiners and response to be submitted by us basically it reduces then uh, what happens is then um, in between that um, in between that suppose someone uh, opposes your pre grant opposition suppose before grant before patent is being granted to you some will oppose the pre grant opposition then the patent office sees that it is also being entertained uh, a hearing committee will sit it will hear either again there are two options either the grant can be extended or your patent may be refused based on the comments received from the pre grant opposition from somewhere then suppose your file suppose um, based on the pre grant opposition and based on the hearing your patent is refused if they are not granted uh, your patent but your patent is being refused then you can again file an appeal against that again hearing will be done or it is finally refused or granted then the grant to be notified to you that yes we are satisfied with the work that you carried out and we are granting you the uh, we are giving the grant to your patent office that grant is notified again after you get the um, patent then there are options of post grant opposition someone after um, the patent is being granted to you someone opposite of uh, someone uh, gives give the opposition to the post grant again the hearing and the same condition repeats so the patent office and that's why i was uh, that's why in the first slide we were discussing that basically it is a techno legal document all the legal procedures will be followed out so these are the fees the, uh, the amount of the fees that we need to pay if you, if you can see the slide there are two different ways in which you can uh, file the fees or you can file the patent one method is e filing method and another one is physical filing method 
form number 1, 2 and 18 are compulsory and for that I have written the fees but uh, you can uh, you can browse the pdf what we have what what is um, which is the link for this is being uh, placed in the downside of the ppt if you see uh, there are three different categories uh, a two different category of filing the patent but an inside that there are three different categories the first category is natural person and or startup the startup is included in the last year itself because now uh, based on the uh, Modi sir's recommendation, Narendra Modi sir's recommendations of Startup India and Stand Up India. Since India is going towards the startup, if you are startup, then um, then 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 you are uh, filing patent fees. So if you are filing the e filing the patent, uh, 1600 rupees uh, for the natural person. If I am natural, mean natural means I am alone and I am not working. Uh, applicant is myself, uh, myself only, and uh, not not for any. Then if the applicant is a small entity alone or with natural person and or startup. So suppose the applicant is a small entity. Now educational institute like us um, uh, falls under uh, uh, small entity and they should file 4000 rupees and big entities like uh, big giant companies will file the patent with the fees of 8000 rupees. Now uh, um, uh, this is e-filing. but uh, in case of physical filing, you can also send the document to uh, the patent office uh, of uh, India uh, with the physical filing fees of 1750 for a natural person, 4400 for small entity and 8000 rupees for the other giant entities. These fees are applicable uh, for uh, form number 2 with uh, 30 pages maximum and maximum of 10 claims. Now, if the number of pages are increased from 30, they charge more amount as, as it is written on the slide, 10% more amount per page. And similarly, per extra claim more than 10, they charge 20% more. Now, basically you are able to, suppose, um, there, are, there are many options. One of the option is extension of the time. Suppose you are, you filed the patent, uh, provisional patent application and you are not able to, uh, 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 complete the uh, you are not able to file the complete specification you are not able to have your prototype within 12 months you can request um, a patent office for extension of the time and the fees for the same is being written on the slide and this fee is for one month now for two month uh, double of this three months uh, thrice of this and like this and similarly request for the examination with this fees once you file the provisional patent uh, application uh, along with the fees, then for the same uh, patent application, fi filing the complete specification does not require any fees to be paid. So these are the uh, fees set up and uh, this is the uh, snapshot of what you receive, patent filing acknowledgement as well as when the patent is published in the public domain. So uh, I thank you all of you for your patience uh, listening. For any question or query, you can, uh, you are very much free to contact me on this number, on this ID. I will be very much helpful to you for this. I would like to thank here um, our management, uh, Parampujya Tyagwalab Swamiji, our Provost Sir, Registrar Sir, uh, all my colleagues, all my teams which takes this video. And, specific, uh, and also Gujarat Technological Uni uh, University with whom we were initially uh, affiliated and uh, they have started initiating this and uh, right now in Atmi University we are able to file more than 50 patents in this. Again thank you, thank you uh, very much and I will be available on this contact number. Thank you.